What is up everybody and welcome back and in this video we are going to be doing a follow up to our previous upload and bring you guys even more new tricks. Now in our previous video we covered how you guys could actually get crossbows from Capitao to go through any tiny little hole as small as a suppressed pistol shot. This is an insane angle that you guys could do that was shown in the previous video. Now Grief Drums actually brought it to my attention that this doesn't just work with Capitao however, you can also get Ash Breaching Charges as well as Zofia Flashes and her Breaching Impact Grenades through tiny little bullet holes also. Now this angle isn't necessarily the best one that you could possibly use for Ash, but I'm just using this one as an example to show you guys how you can get the impact charge through two layers of walls. It is absolutely insane. Now you guys can put your minds to it and come up with so many different awesome places that you guys can use this in-game mechanic. Like how Grief Drums in his video he showed one where you can lay on the balcony of Skyscraper and shoot up to the bottom floor behind the mirror inside of Geisha on Skyscraper and that is a sick angle. Now one video that I have started putting together a sick outline for is a mirror counter video and that is using all types of different in-game mechanics and if I do decide to put this video together it is absolutely going to demolish a ton of different mirror spots. Normally I try to include a bunch of different categories within my trick videos but if you guys want to see a dedicated one for that be sure to let me know down below. Another spot that he showed with Zofia is how you can actually go all the way up into offices and use her breaching rounds in order to take out any bandit charges or mutes that may be stopping you while you guys are attacking the garage. Now there is a very, very slight drop off with Zofia and Nico, huge shout out to you again. He's an absolute legend. He helped me out with this entire episode and he figured out that all you gotta do is just add an extra bullet hole onto the top of the second layer where you're shooting with Zofia and that will make sure that the impact charges go straight through the floor. Now Nico, he's an expert pro player. He's also a big parkour hunter inside of Siege. He does some awesome stuff on his stream. I'll link all of his stuff down below. You should definitely check it out. Now what you guys are about to see here is literally a guaranteed kill on anybody that's playing Mira inside of the supply room. This is probably one of the most common Miras, if not the most common Mira, on the entire map of Oregon. And you guys I'm sure know this setup. All you gotta do is take your two fire bolts from Capital. You're gonna pop one on the right through the C4 hole that the mirror most of the time creates. That's gonna stop them from rotating out. And then your second bolt is gonna just get dropped right in front of the wall, but still on the cement. If they do break the wall in front, don't actually shoot the wall with it. You're gonna actually shoot the floor with it. And what that does is it takes advantage of the mechanic kind of like how smoke goes through walls and then you can make like maverick circles and then just crouch through and appear out of nowhere the smoke actually travels through the wall and it's kind of like that same mechanic where fire bolts also go through walls similar to smoke but it still is doing the damage to the other side now in just a couple seconds i'm gonna just go downstairs inside of the laundry room and i'll show you guys exactly what this looks like you guys can see that the mirror player is just going to get completely trapped. I guess it could be possible if they're fast enough, they could turn around and try to vault up on top of that box. It's going to be very unlikely though. That's literally the only chance that they might have, but even then you burn so fast, it's pretty much a guaranteed kill. Now moving on to our next trick, if you guys watched part one, which I'll link down below, you guys will have seen an insane drone hole angle that defenders can use to take out anybody that enters into West Balcony or even the big garage on Chalet all the way from the top floor above the stairs. Now Nico was awesome enough to teach me that angle that you guys saw in the part number one to this video and he was awesome enough to share again another sick drone hole angle that he had discovered over here on Skyscraper. So huge props to you Nico for not just 
figuring out all these cheeky angles, but also being willing to share it with the entire Coconut Bra family. Now this angle, we're gonna be doing pretty much the opposite where we're gonna be defending but instead we're gonna be roaming downstairs in a bedroom and this time we're gonna be shooting up through a drone hole that goes all the way outside to the east balcony. Now I'm always straight up with you guys. I'm not gonna sugarcoat anything. If you guys want to get the instant kill or the one tap, you're gonna pretty much need to use the boss G for this angle. Unless the guys like laying down or crouching for whatever reason, then it's gonna be pretty dang hard to pick off a headshot. You can definitely do a lot of damage or even if somebody's holding a tight angle looking into the offices, then it works out. Then you could probably get enough bullets on them. If you wanna just hit the one tap though the boss G is definitely the way to go you can pretty much get them the majority of the time another trick that Nico is showing you with this drone hole is that you can actually get nitro cells up halfway through the drone hole and no matter where the person is standing on the east balcony the nitro cell will kill them with one hit now the mechanic of this wall is pretty interesting so I'm gonna throw a nitro cell up here into this drone hole and you guys are gonna see that once I run upstairs that the bottom floor actually sticks out further than the top floor. Now this is partially because of the trophy case that is up here inside of the second floor. Now you guys are gonna see that I'm standing farthest away that I can on the east balcony and the nitro cell is still taking me out. All you gotta do is get the nitro cell partially through the drone hole and the explosion radius will take care of the rest. All right, now with so many different veterans and the game going through year three, we can't really get away with just standing in front of a random window and picking off an easy double, triple kill off the spawn, let alone even one anymore. We gotta really mix it up and evolve. And this spawn peak is a perfect demonstration on how you can take an angle that is such a high traffic area for attackers and just put a tiny little twist on it to give you a huge advantage and pretty much a free fresh new spawn peak that is very difficult for attackers to see. All you gotta do is you're gonna go into the archives, vault up on top of the monitor, crouch and lean left. Now by doing this, all that's gonna be poking out is the tip of your head. And if you just simply stop leaning, you will be hidden again. If you haven't tested out this variation of the spawn peak, I highly suggest it. And like you guys just saw in this clip, I was literally scoped in on him and I was having a very difficult time seeing him while he could clear his day see me. Now moving on to our next trick, I'm going to be sharing with you guys the most vertical angle that is probably in the game. Now this one was shared with me by Density AU and also Jaeger Dot is my city. By starting off, all we're going to be doing is reinforcing the barrel room. Now this is a very, very good wall to breach if you're attacking because it is straight outside, it is a single wall, and you're not gonna have to worry about a cab sneaking up behind you, grabbing that ass of yours, but now you're gonna have to worry about somebody shooting the top of your head from literally four floors away. This is such a high up angle, one of the coolest in the game that I've seen in quite a while, and you would think that the grates in the wall and the floor would actually get in the way of your angle by leaning and looking sideways, but it actually doesn't. You have a great view of this wall. Now starting off after you reinforce the barrel room wall, you're just gonna go upstairs into the bathroom, break a hole in the floor. You can just do a shotgun hole if you want to. I'm just using impact grenades to open it up a little bit more and to show you guys exactly what I'm looking at. Then you're gonna also break part of the top of the bathroom wall. Then you're gonna run up the floor again and just put like half a clip or another shotgun hole inside of the floor at the very top and you guys will be able to lean and look straight down to the wall. Now this is also great because a lot of times Maverick will just run up to a wall, put a bunch of different holes in there and stand there for a very long time. You'll have plenty of time to get easy kills on Maverick and Thermite, but you could also troll Hibana and shoot her pellets once they land on the wall. So many different options with this angle, it is absolutely insane. 
Anyways, you guys, I hope you guys enjoyed this video and learned a lot. Let me know what your guys' favorite trick down below was. Also, we're still doing the giveaway for another 20 days or so, and I'll link the link down below for that. We're giving away a $800 value PS4 Pro 500 million edition. If you guys are watching this, being subscribed to the channel is one of the ways to enter. So if you guys are seeing this, most likely you already have a free way to enter just sitting there waiting for you. All you got to do is click the link down below to confirm it and you will be entered. I love you guys all. I'll see you guys all very soon in the next video. Peace.